G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Rodney from Music Business Facts and I just wanted to talk quickly about the interview that I did with Australian super promoter Michael Chug. Now if you don't know who Michael Chug is, he's one of the founding pioneers of the Aussie music industry and the Aussie music scene and people like Elton John call him, you know, one of the best promoters in the world. Anyway, I've done a uh, awesome podcast with Michael and you can go and listen to it now at musicbusinessfacts.com. But I know that um, there'll be some of you out there that maybe are a little bit too busy to listen to it and you just wanted to actually get the uh, the straight facts from Mr. Chug. So I thought I'd put together this quick presentation just to, I guess, just cap what he was talking about in the uh, in the interview that we did. So the first thing that Michael talked about was passion. And he said that, um, you know, he's been in the industry for over 50 years and he said, what you must have is passion. You must be absolutely passionate about what you're doing and you've got to be there for the uh, the long haul. He pointed out that uh, particularly when you're starting out, you know, whether it's as, as a performer or somebody who's trying to start a business within the music industry or any business really, you're going to face many and numerous challenges and failures and you have to be able to uh, deal with those failures and, and you have to be able to pick yourself up and move on and have thick skin and, you know, not take no for an answer kind of thing. Michael also pointed out that luck has a lot to do with uh, being successful um, and, you know, that's a theme that runs across a lot of people who have, who have become successful in the industry. Um, and what I say to you is that I believe the harder you work, the luckier you get. That's one cliche. Another one is simply luck is opportunity meeting preparedness. And I really do believe that because the harder you work, you put yourself in a position that when a lucky opportunity comes around, you're ready to grab that. So, you know, particularly in the music industry... Um, being at the right place at the right time um, is going to determine on how successful you might be. But again, if you stay the long haul, you will have many lucky opportunities come around for you. The other big one that Michael talked about is persistence. And again, this is another theme that rings true um, with a lot of successful entrepreneurs in, in business in general. So, you know, but really believe in what you're doing and just don't give up. Um, one of the things that's going to happen if you don't give up is that you're going to get better at what you do. So again, you know, I've, I've had students in the past that have sort of said things like, oh, I have to make it by the time I'm 30 or something like that. Well, you've got to, you know, change your mindset and just be positive and just keep going. Just, you know, hopefully you're loving what you're doing and you never give up. So Michael Chug said that not giving up has a lot to do with becoming successful. He also mentioned that you shouldn't dwell on any bad things that happen to you. You know, you, you might have to take them on board, but you've got to be able to have that ability to get up and move on. That was one of the uh, characteristics that Michael said he had and that has helped him become successful. And this is a good one for, for performers and songwriters as well. Michael said that someone will get it sooner or later. Um, sooner or later, somebody's going to get what you're doing and it just takes that one person who gets it who can open a door for you and then who knows what um, is going to be installed for you there. So going back again about being persistent in what you're doing and believe what you're doing. Uh, Michael's advice on the podcast was to build a good team around you and to listen to them. So he was talking about, you know, um, accountants, booking agents, managers, um, promoters that you trust, um, just, um, you know, roadies, your team, build people that you know you can rely upon and... Um, you know, that's what you're going to need as a part as a part of becoming successful in this industry. He emphasized the notion that you should be open with people and remember not to just take, but to also give back. And that was one thing that was Michael, that Michael Chug is very good at is giving back to the Australian music industry and the industry in general. Michael pointed out that it's all about relationships with people and treating other people as human beings. And I guess that's just common sense to me, at least, is you know treating other people with respect and treating other people the way that you yourself would like to be treated it goes a long way to being a good person and it goes a long way to being a good business person. And another piece of advice Michael said was rather than just blindly knocking on people's doors... You know, attend the, the numerous amounts of conferences that are out there. Things like in Australia, for instance, Big Sound, where um, you know you can network really well with other like-minded people, um, and you can learn so much from attending those conferences. So, if you haven't been to something like Big Sound, I really strongly recommend that you go. And then at the end, Michael was sort of talking about you know the notion of being successful, and he pointed out that in his opinion. The live scene for Australian band is really healthy and that Australian bands are not only taking on the world but they're also being recognised. So he said in his travels, lots of people are sort of talking about Australian bands and there's a bit of a buzz about Australian bands. So I think that's a really 
positive thing for the Australian music industry. Michael Chug stated that the Australian music is happening more overseas than it is here. And, you know, if no one knows who you are here or you don't feel like you're gaining any traction here, um, you know, get on a plane and, Michael said in very colourful language, nick off. Just get yourself out of the country and go and try and organise some gigs overseas. You just never know what might happen. Michael also said that people in the music business here in Australia will give kids internships and try and, and teach them. So uh, I'm always telling my students it's really important to network and to try and get those opportunities. So you have to present yourself well and try and you know beg, borrow, steal, knock on the door, but get yourself an internship. It go a long way to proving to people um, that you know you're not an idiot, you're passionate, you're there for the long haul, and. Um, yeah, I, I often say to people, you know, it's really important that if you can't get an internship, that you volunteer. Volunteer wherever you can. So if you know, if you want to get into event management, start volunteering at um, one of the many numerous events that are being held around the country. And uh, if you wanted to contact Michael, that was his website, chugentertainment.com. So yeah, folks, there was a quick uh, rundown on the on the main music business facts that I got from Michael Chug. Um, it was a great interview. I hope you go back and listen to it. You can see it at uh, my website at musicbusinessfacts.com. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you there. And um, thanks for your time. Over.